Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel once again. This is Tech PBA. So in this tutorial, we are going to look at um, four easy ways of disabling um, automatic Windows updates in Windows 10 on our laptops, on our desktops. Um, usually, um, updates windows updates or automatic windows updates are released by microsoft um, to fix or to patch vulnerabilities to improve performance and to bring enhancements without user interaction but sometimes um, these updates can have negative effects on our systems um, they can break existing features they can introduce driver and application compatibility problems or cause the blue screen of death, which is the BSOD. And most of the time, they require system um, restarts before the installations can be complete, which can disrupt the flow of our work. So in this tutorial, we are going to look at four easy ways of disabling automatic system windows updates in windows 10 two of the approaches are temporary through the settings applets and then through um, the services and then the two are permanent which is through the group policy editor and then the registry editor so we will first of all look at the two um, temporary ones and then we'll later look at the two permanent ones so let's get straight into it so the first one we're going to do is to what we with is with the disabling it in settings so we'll click on start and then click on the settings icon to open the settings window from the settings window we'll click on the update and security And then in the update and security, if the Windows update is not automatically selected, you can click it, click on it on the left side of the window. And then the options to configure your Windows updates are what we see in in the screen or on on the screen. So the, what you can do is to, you can pause updates for seven days so that um, your update will be paused until seven days. You can click on it again to pause it for seven more days. You can actually click on it for a couple more times until it is the setting is grayed out. Yes, so as you can see, it is now grayed out. So when we look in, in this same window up there under Windows updates, we can see that the updates are paused with the pause symbol on it. And it says that your, your device won't be up to date while updates are paused. Updates will resume on the 16th of April, 2023. So as at the time of the recording of this video, the date I recorded this video was um, on the 12th of March, 2023. So it means um, the updates will resume after a month and some three days. A month and some three days. That is when automatic updates or system updates or automatic Windows updates will resume. So this is our first approach. This is the first approach to disabling the automatic um, Windows updates. The second one we are going to look at is through the services applets. So what we are going to do is to search in the search box or type in the search box services.msc. So we'll click on the services.msc for it to open the windows. If you are not 
if you are not an administrator, you would need to run the services as an administrator. So you will need an administrator, username and password. Let's uh, maximize the services window um, in that fashion and then we will click on the standard tab down there. And from here we will scroll down to the very end of the services. And then we will look for Windows updates. Let's expand the view a bit and then we'll click on Windows updates. We we'll double click on Windows updates and then we will click on the arrow down beside um, the startup type. And then to disable the Windows update, we'll select the disabled option and then click stop to stop the Windows update service from running. And then we'll click apply and OK. This feature actually disables um, the Windows update until you or until you restart your 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 PC. So this is a temporary um, approach because if if we are to restart the this system or this computer right now um, the system will automatically um, enable the windows update service and then the automatic update will, will, will run again so that's our second um, approach which is also a temporary um, approach the third one we are going to look at is through the gp edit which is the group policy editor so we'll search or we'll type in the search box gpedits.msc and click on the the gpedits.msc icon for it to open the window we'll go ahead and expand the window then expand the navigation area a bit from here under computer configuration we will expand administrative templates we'll go ahead and expand windows components we will scroll down and then we will click on windows updates and then from the right on the right side we will double click configure automatic updates which is the setting we want to work with in this approach. So from here, to disable the Windows update, we will select the disabled option. So up the option currently selected by default is the not configured, which is the option that allows the automatic updates to run on your computer. So to disable the automatic updates from running on your system permanently, we will go ahead and select the disabled option and then we will click apply and OK. You can use the same approach to enable it once again. So if we if we are to double click on the configure automatic updates and then from here if we if we are to enable it again we will select the not configured and this will enable automatic updates to run on your system as and when it is supposed to run to close out of the local group policy editor or the group policy editor then from there we will look at the last um, approach to turning off automatic um, windows updates so the last one is by using a tool in windows called the registry editor so from the search box we are going to type reg edits which is the shorthand for the registry editor we will then go ahead and click on the registry editor 
And then again, if you if you are not um, an administrator on the computer, you you would need administrative permissions to do this kind of um, configurations. So from from the registry editor, we'll click on the look. We'll expand local HK local machines. Expand software. We will then go ahead and expand policies. We will expand Microsoft. We will scroll down. And then we will expand Windows. We will actually click on Windows. Then we will go ahead and right click on it, mouse over new, and then click key. We will go ahead and name this key Windows Updates. And then we'll press enter to save the name. We will right click on the new key we just created. Again, mouse over new and then click key. We will name this new key AJU in caps. And then from here, we are going to right click on the new key we just created, the AJU key, mouse over new. And then we will go ahead and click the word 32 bits value. Then we are going to name this key no auto updates. Then we'll press enter to save the name. We'll go ahead and double click the that new key and then and then we will change the value. Or the value data to one from zero to one which consequently means that we are turning that um, we are enabling that um, that um, key over there so the one option we specified will enable the no auto updates key and so there will be no auto updates on this system so that is the last approach to disabling the windows automatic updates and the last one the reg edits was also a, a a permanent approach so guys this these are four easy ways of disabling automatic windows updates on your windows systems your laptops your desktops and the rest so please thank you for watching do well to subscribe to my channel and please share this video see you in another video